liberalism, a cancer to society, a plague that's even corrupted our very own Muslim youth. I don't believe men and women can be friends. What do you think about that? Yeah, they can. Yeah, they can? Yeah, they can. That's a hot take. Yeah, you can, you can be friends without catching feelings. You can be friends without catching feelings? What kind of world do you live in? May Allah help us. So we hit the streets of New York City to give dawah by asking the age-old question, can men and women just be friends? Do you think there can be an attraction between friends? No. <laughs> yes. You think so? Yeah. It depends. You can, but there's always going to be that little in the back of the head, I want to kiss her. No, I think... I would say... Yeah, I know. <laughs> Street Dower. You know what it is here with the boys right here, the team, the Zumzum Zum boys over here. Merch out very soon. Pre order right now. Click the link below. Get that merch right now. We're out over here to ask some really fun questions, inshallah, and to essentially give them dawah. If you like this, you know the vibes. Hit the subscribe button, hit all that stuff, but it don't really matter. We're gonna go out over here and give some dawah. Let's go right now. Do you believe Hi. that boys and girls can just be friends without like catching feelings no. or anything like that? No. I do, genuinely. Truthfully, it depends. Yes, I believe that. Yeah. Think so? Yeah. You yeah. can, but there's always going to be that little in the back of the head. I want to kiss her. No, I think... He spoke! Respect! Respect! If you are attracted to the person, there's no way you can just look at him and be like, oh, we're friends. And yeah. I, <laughs> my wife, she's not going to... Nah, I don't think... Wife's not with it? Nah, my wife's not Why with not? it. Why not? Because she's going to think, like, you know, if you're... I mean, you could be friends, I guess. I have friends that is girls, but my uh, my wife is friends with them as well, you know? Got you. You know what so I it's mean? it's double-sided, right? You yeah. can't just be friends on the low by yourself. Nah, you but... You gotta have her in on the She knows uh -huh. you good, man. Yeah. What about you? Yeah. yeah. Think so, friends without catching feelings or anything? No, yeah, I guess, yes. You think so? Yeah. It depends. A lot gotta come with it. Uh, it depends. You went from yeah to it depends. So what, what, what do you what do you think it depends on? What do you think? It depends on like on like on the history or like like okay. you know what I'm saying. Like if they if they ain't got no history, like y'all friends. So what? Oh right, why are you friends? Right? What for? First thing. Right? Niggas is disrespectful. They don't respect relationships. Listen, and things could lead to other things. Exactly. You know they can. Yeah, exactly. Hey, right, okay. This guy knows a lot of stuff over here. It depends on the attraction. Do you think there can be an attraction between friends? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? I would say. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know, man. If it's a uh, if a female and a male by themselves or without their mate knowing, I don't know. It could lead to something. You know what it I mean? It could. It could lead. It's not necessarily it will, but it could. It could. It could. And the the fact that it could makes it dangerous. Yes. Do Syrian lives matter? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to help keep Syrians warm for the winter? Yes, of course. Now I'm actually asking you, do you want to help keep Syrians warm this winter? If so, please click the link in the description below and literally donate whatever you can. I've teamed up with Drop This and Mercy this winter to help our Syrian brothers and sisters stay warm for the winter. And if you would like to provide some warmth, it is only $15 for a coat. So please donate a coat or some food or donate whatever you can. But please do not let this moment and pass by without you donating something. The Drop of Some Mercy team is currently on the ground in Aleppo providing your generosity that you have donated. So please click the link and donate whatever you can. Let's help save the Ummah together. So you're saying something, right? You said that even you're gonna think about getting a kiss or something. Why do you think that is? Because that's actually true. Because we human. Yes. That's why. We all gonna do the Either wrong she's thing. You're gonna think we... that or you're gonna think that. Yeah. Do you think that's fair? Yeah. Why did you say true? Like honestly, you feel like they can't. Because I have a guy best friend and we've been friends for more than 10 years. Okay. And, 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 and you know about that friend? Facts. How comfortable would you feel if he just had a female friend? He has one. He has one. But with your knowledge? Yeah. What, what about one without your knowledge? If he got a girl that's a friend and I didn't know I'm beating her up. I don't, that's just me though. You'd be upset? Yeah, definitely be upset. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, a big, that's a big problem. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Is that okay for him to have one without your knowledge? Yeah. Okay. What do you feel about it? <laughs> Shit, I'm proud of her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so listen. So let, let me ask you. Would you be okay if she had a man as a friend? Friend that you didn't know about? Oh, it's beef. It's beef. Facts. You can't listen what? to this. <laughs> <laughs> you can't listen to this. Nah. Why not? That's a double standard. You see yeah, the double standard? Very much. A little demask. Your mask and toxicity is disgusting. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be comfortable if she had a male friend and I didn't know about them or they would hang out. Like, I wouldn't be comfortable with You them. wouldn't be. No. Now, do you think it's okay to be jealous? Yes, of course. Yeah. yeah. You think there's a healthy amount of jealousy? Yes, sir. 
It's important. important. Yes, it is. As a man, you need to make sure that the other person knows that. Listen, a a healthy form of jealousy shows that you love the person, you care about them. If you didn't care, you wouldn't be jealous enough. Exactly. Obviously, there's levels to it, right? Not the crazy level of jealousy, but the level of jealousy that's confident, but shows that I love the person so much that I need to look after her. Exactly. Why do you feel like that's a problem if she had someone and she said that she's okay with you, but you're not okay with that? It depends. Yeah. Why, why, why do you think that? You don't look offended to that, which is a good sign. But why are you okay with that stand? Um, I would say because the male species usually tend to have hidden agendas, yeah. especially if they got to attract a female friend. So. Yes. And you know what? You said it, the male species, because man is built a certain way. You understand? Mm-hmm. Man is a man. It doesn't matter what your race is. Whatever. Right. If you're a dude, you're a dude. Right, right, you right. right. So they have all these other types of thoughts themselves, which you don't even want to know. Sometimes we think about things you don't want to know. Believe me, they're nasty. They're really nasty. That's true. Men are men. Are men. Now look, out of respect. You know, female, so when sure. you're a good man, sure. and you know you do what you got to do for your women, you yeah. attract certain females. Yes. It could be your best friend. Absolutely. It could be a friend, friend, friend. It don't matter. But that's just what it is. Now that we understand their perspective, it's time to introduce them to the solution that Islam provides. You know what's interesting, and this is this is so common, right? So many people fall into this trap that when someone gets to the friend, someone messages them on the side and they start hiding it from the other partner. And this is interesting because the Prophet Muhammad said, Do you have you ever heard the name the Prophet Muhammad? You ever heard of Muhammad before? Yeah. Prophet Muhammad. He said that between two people, two people, like a man and a woman, the third person shaitan. Yes, sir. You know exactly, that. Exactly, exactly. So it could you lead to leave something. No room. For uh-huh. that. You leave no room. For you understand, that. right? Yeah. So if you're with someone and you think it's okay, it maybe starts off and maybe taking a class together or you have work together and you just exchange information and somehow you start getting a little bit more comfortable with those texts, yeah. right? It starts getting a little further. It became professional to now a little bit more comfortable. You get what I'm saying? Because the third party is always the devil. I, I mean, not for everybody because I have a friend that I look at, I would never look at that way. I definitely have a best friend. We've been best friends for uh, since high school gotcha. i would never like, i talk to her about other females and everything i get advice and all that but so it just, it just depends on how what kind of self-control you have got gotcha. you everybody yeah so. but you have to remember something when you maybe mix a little something you have something that self-control could go away true or false yeah, okay. they can't because these forces are around us so that we can slip so you can't just sit over here and say that i'm a bee I'm going to be with the person and not catch feelings. I'm going to do that. Why? Because the third party is the Satan, is the devil. Because the biggest thing that the shaitan, the devil, loves to do is break couples up. Right. He wants to make sure that he's destroying good relationships. That's actually his biggest success. Yeah, it makes sense, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Now, we want to make sure that we're, we're closing those avenues. So we're having these conversations with people. And that's the thing. What people don't realize is that the reason, it doesn't matter what your religion is, the reason there's stuff that happened between affairs and things like that, off marital type of stuff, affairs, is because the third person is shaitan. And the number one thing shaitan loves to do is to make sure to breaks relationships. Exactly. You get what that's I'm saying? Exactly. Are you here with your wife or you by yourself? I'm, I'm over here by myself. Oh, that's dangerous. You see what I'm talking about right now? My family, okay, you saved that. Cool. Okay, oh, so she sent the spy, which is the child. Yes, yes. That's, a, that's a spy. The and children are spies. And my mom. Your mom's a spy too. She's a nop. Yeah, she is. Your mom's a nop. She is. Listen, listen. I want to leave you guys, but I want to give you guys a gift, if that's okay with you, right? I want to give you guys something. This is a copy of the Quran. You ever heard of the Quran before? Yeah. You ever heard of the Quran before? Yeah, yeah. You have. Yeah. What do you know about it? I don't know much. Um, but I've heard things. But you've heard? And yeah. Now the Quran is the last and final testament. Just like Jesus was a messenger of God, Abraham was a messenger of God, Noah, Moses, all of them were messenger of God. The Prophet Muhammad was also the messenger of God, but he was the last and final messenger of God. This book has never been changed. It's never been altered at all. So the book that you have right here, is the same from 1444 years ago till now. Never been changed, never been altered. It has tons of uh, miracles and everything inside it, but the biggest miracle is what it does to your heart, my friend, okay? The Quran on is something that's designed to soothe your heart so if you're ever sad ever lonely ever feeling a certain type of way this book will help you because this book causes you to connect with your creator you do believe in the creator yes big facts you have to you have to ask you a question go ahead what chapter should i start with guys before you leave please make sure to donate a jacket it's only 15 dollars if you click the link in the description below let's help our syrian brothers and sisters right now drop in some mercy handing out and providing your generosity so please donate it's urgent right now. They need coach for the winter. May Allah reward you all. 
so in my opinion, in my opinion, it depends on a lot of things, right? I like to say that, unlike the Bible where someone says, go read Matthew, go read John, I don't like to do that. I like to tell people, listen, start it from wherever you want. You could read it from cover to cover and it will hit different to you. But if you want, if you're interested in the chapter called The Woman, you can read that chapter. It's literally where God outlines the, the rights of a woman, which doesn't exist in any other holy book. Okay. Even though you're Muslim, alhamdulillah, it's still an English copy of Quran oh, oh, for you to read it, my brother. It's always. Walaikum salam, my bro. Okay, take care, brother Omi. My boys, listen. Yeah, some fun people. Yeah, some fun people. Now, I got one final question for you, sir. You ready? Yeah. When are you popping the question? <laughs> Pulled up, gave some street dawah with the Zums and boys, with the team. This can't happen without you guys and without them as well. Guys, we love you and appreciate you. Make sure you check it out. Also, pre-order the merch. It's ready. Click, click the link. Come on, click the come on, link. Let's just get the merch. You know how, listen, he's not available on the site. That's special. He's special, okay? He's not ready for that yet, but the shirt is ready for that, all right, guys? Go in the description right now. Pre-order the shirt. We love you guys. We're out of here.